hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your very first time here my name is raisa and on this channel we talk about everything immigration as international student motherhood and vlogs as well so in today's video as you have seen in the title from the title of this video we're gonna be answering some questions that i frequently get in my instagram dms and this is going to be covering jobs in canada so i do understand that it's a topic i haven't touched on elaborately on my youtube channel so I decided to make this video for the purpose of, you know, those who have asked all these questions and are providing some answers to them. Okay, disclaimer. So bear in mind, a lot of things are changing in the Canadian um, immigration website as well as their government or how they're functioning. So at the time they are watching this video, if you're watching it later than today, maybe things might have changed. Hopefully I don't miss out on anything that's up to date. But I'm also hoping that at the time you're watching it, nothing has changed. Yeah, and this is all from my own experience. So any other thing that you have questions um, with, please consult the immigration website, the IRCC website for more information. And another thing, I am not an immigration consultant. I am just a person that's sharing her experience as someone who went to school and um, worked as well in the University of Regina, Saskatchewan. So as we go on, you guys are going to see me looking down because I have my computer here. My laptop is right here. And the questions, I have them here as well because I'm recording with my phone, right? So yes, I'm going to be looking down here just to refer to my points as well as some of the answers I wrote down. So let's jump right into this video. As a newcomer in Canada, you are exposed, you are definitely going to be exposed to a whole lot of possibilities, okay? And it's possible for you to work while going to school here, as well as if you're someone who is looking, who has questions about employer-specific um, jobs in Canada, then you can also keep watching because this video also applies to you. So whether you ha you're looking for a job in the Canadian market or you're looking for a job offer that's going to qualify you for a work permit or to move to Canada as a permanent resident you have questions about all these things keep watching because I might likely answer some of the questions that you have to clarify all your doubts so the first thing that you need to do when you're looking for jobs is you have to have a Canadian um, standard resume okay coming from Africa coming from um, Cameroon to be specific we had a standard we had the kind of way that we did that we had that we wrote our resumes you see somebody's age you see information that nobody really needs and we I don't know for some reason we had we had things like yeah our age our birthday and everything but that is very unnecessary you don't need that for a Canadian standard resume you have to go online and look for Canadian um, templates so you can work using those even on microsoft word if you have a microsoft word on your computer you can you, you can follow the templates that's on there but um, try to make it up to canadian standard this information is on google as well you can check it and make sure that you tailor your resume such that it fits what canada requires the second thing for you to know is who is allowed to work in canada so basically in canada if you're a foreign person if you're a foreign national you do require a work permit to study or to work in canada and for you to be considered eligible to work in canada you must either belong to these categories so you're eligible to work in canada if you fit these three categories okay first of all one you're a canadian permanent resident or a canadian citizen two you have a valid work permit and three you're an international student who has a valid work permit that allows you to work in canada so these are the three categories of people who require a the work permits as foreign nationals okay so for those who are exempted from this category if you're if you're someone in a, you're you're somebody that comes from outside canada you cannot work if your stay is very short if you're under a visitor visa maybe a tourist visa or um, yeah tourists and visitors are the same or you're under like a sports kind of program you're under a sports program like like a foreign um com competition like all these people who come for competitions you just come and go yes you don't you, you you cannot work as well um if you're coming for if you're a business visitor you cannot work as well okay so yes in summary if you are in if you are planning to come to canada or planning to visit canada and you are not sure of your category please also look at your document to see whether it states if you can work or not if it says that you cannot work unfortunately you cannot okay does that make sense 
Yes, so anything that you have for more information, consult the IRCC website. The next question I have is, how much does it cost to get a Canadian work permit? So how what is the cost of a Canadian work permit? So basically, at the time of this recording, <laughs> at the time of this recording, if you are if you're planning to get an employer specific work permit, the cost is $155. And if you're planning for an open to get an open work permit, then you have to pay a total of $255. That's the $155, including a hundred dollars for the open work permit fee. So that's what is called open work permit fee. That's what hundred dollars is for. So regardless of the type of work permit that you want to get, you have to also pay you have to also do biometrics and biometrics cost $85. That's also included in the cost. So you can do the total um, yourself when you are making your application. For the cost um, attached to the work permits, for your work permit application, you're going to have to account for medical costs yourself and police certificate and all of those things. The next question is, do I need a Canadian job offer to apply for a work permit? This is another question that is frequently asked if they need a job offer before they can get a work permit. So if you're looking for employer specific jobs, yes, you definitely need a Canadian job offer. But if for you to be able to get an open work permit, that's different because you have to qualify for it and meet certain conditions. So I think it's a total of six conditions that you have to meet and let's go through this in a minute so for the open work permit you don't need this you don't need a job offer but for you to be able to be eligible for eligible to get one you have to be an international student international students who has graduated from a canadian post-secondary institution as a designated learning institution that's the first group that is going to require you to be eligible for a postgraduate work permit which also works as an open work permit the second condition is that you have to have a temporary residence permit status in Canada. That's the second one. And then you are either a spouse or your partner or a partner of an international student in Canada. But that one has changed because that's if you're doing a graduate program now. Because at the time, it didn't matter. But if your spouse or your partner is an international student, as a graduate student, you can get an open work permit not if somebody who has done a diploma or an undergrad that doesn't work anymore that changed you have to be if you're under a refugee status you can get an open work permit as well you, yeah or a protected person so these are the conditions i think there were five i think i give you guys five so yeah these are the these are the five um conditions for you to get a qualify for an open work permit you have to fall under each of these categories now the next question is what is the, the processing time for my canadian work permit a lot of you are, a lot of us are always impatient when we apply for i don't know work permit student permits all of those things but ircc has a time span for processing applications and it's listed on their website for according to countries so you can actually go there and see how long it's, it's supposed to take for uh, applications are submitted from your country to be processed for example i would say for cameroon it takes about 24 weeks nigeria on the website this is what the website information says as of today february 20th 2024 nigeria it says um 12 weeks well it's 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 what they say right that's what they have said this is for work permit so it's possible you know india i think india takes about they said 15 weeks yeah we can actually check it no 19 weeks for india yes i'm looking at it right now as we're speaking yeah you can check how long work permits um the time that it takes work permits to be approved according to country you can always see it on their websites so the next question is, is can my employer sponsor my work permits when i'm in canada some jobs they'll ask you when you're applying like do you require sponsorship and to be honest most of the time when you require sponsorship it's like it's this it's very small chance we don't really like doing it unless it's like an lmie um job so lmie stands for labor market impact assessment yes that's what it stands for if it's that kind of job these kind of jobs are listed on on a particular website where employers are willing to sponsor people's work permits so i don't want to see there's like <laughs> there's a legit sponsorship for that if an employer can 
sponsor is but it depends if they want to hire you they, if they really want to hire you and you require that they sponsor it they will do so but i will not say you know it's, it's, it's i cannot give a general answer to this question because it's very different for every job yeah the next question is is there an age limit for canadian for, a, for me to work in canada for a canadian work permit there is an age limit i think it's 18 years so you have to be a foreign person you have to be 18 years of age to be able to qualify for a canadian work permit but in most cases there is no for the maximum age there's really no maximum age you can you can apply to get it yeah so that's it then somebody they also asked can i convert my visitor visa to a work permit so usually yeah if, can, if you're under a, a visitor work permit you cannot convert you cannot convert it to a work permit no you cannot really just be a visitor and then apply for a work permit by the books no however <laughs> <laughs> however if you're a visitor you can apply for a work permit under you can apply for an ex, em, for an employer specific job type okay which um which will grant you a work permit right that's if you're in canada already if you're in canada you can also apply for it but you have to have a valid canadian job offer again you get so you have to get like a valid um you can apply for an ex, for, for employer specific work permits if you're already in canada if you have gotten a job so why you're in canada as a visitor if you just say okay let me just apply for jobs randomly maybe employer specific jobs like lmiu jobs then you can apply for a work permit after that apart from that no but you know what <laughs> by the books don't just come as a visitor and then say i want to change it to a visitor visa like that so no it's just supposed to work that way. It will not, it will not work that way because you don't have a job. You don't have a job. Do you understand? Yes. Until you get the job. <laughs> so, somebody also asked, how easy is it to get a job in Canada? To be honest, things have really changed. Coming, coming from back in 2015, when I was here in Canada, it was, it was not as easy too, but it was not as hard as it is today. Today is really hard. Even the even the survivor jobs are not easy to get compared to before. For example, in Alberta right now, to even get jobs in Donuts, Starbucks, all those kind of places is not as easy as it's hard now. Just because there's a lot more people who have immigrated, who have come to Canada, right? And opportunities are now smaller. To get has been strained. <laughs> yeah so but it's possible to get a job you know if you're if you're already if you're a pr you're coming as a pr yes you can find, find a job because some jobs will tell you oh you have to be a canadian citizen or you have to be a permanent resident but if you're coming as a, an international student you're coming as a, like a foreign person foreign worker under that foreign status you might it might take it some time but it's not impossible okay it might, it might really take a long time yes but it's possible to still get a job. Just be ready to have money that you can sustain yourself for that period that you don't have a job. If you're coming with your family, have money for you and your family. Yes. <laughs> so now let's talk about, I think the other question, what's the other question? Can I work as an international student? You can work as an international student full-time, you know, co-op as well. If you have co-op, you can work full-time. Now as an international student, you can work full-time. At first there was a limit, but immigration is trying to revisit this um this um time limit that they put for work for, for students to work in canada so if you're an international student and watching this keep yourself updated to see if you know they'll continue with this role of you guys working 20 hours a week if not you know be careful so that you're not going to say oh i did not know uh -huh. ignorance of the law you're not free from it too. your ignorance of what they have said is on you you have to keep your keep yourself updated so they say another person another question is can i include my family on my work permits application so if you're if you're applying for in your application you can add your 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 spouse your common partner your your children and all of that so canada actually recognizes the immediate family like your nuclear like your nuclear family is that what they say it is that how they call it 
you can include your family on your immediate family members that's your spouse your common law partner and your dependent children that's the family that canada recognizes the immediate family the nuclear family well yeah so that's the family you can include in your work permit application now if the application is approved then this people can accompany you to accompany if the application is approved your spouse can accompany you or can be eligible can be eligible for an open work permit as well for or for a study permit that's if they apply to a canadian school or something like that children can accompany you as a, as visitors as visitors or if they also want a study permit but families but if you're having your your siblings your uncle your nephews your um aunties that's not that's not possible you cannot include them in your work permit application because they don't really recognize them like that based on your work permit on in canada no they don't so you have to, it has to be like your spouse your dependent children like your children children mm -hmm. so let's talk about how to get jobs in canada because that's one question that i also get somebody will ask me can i volunteer can i do that but if you want to get a job in canada there are lots of websites that you can apply on and some websites include linkedin indeed job bank workopolis these are just to name a few okay so you can go on their website and look for jobs you can start applying once they say yes come to canada and once they give you a work permit once they give you any permit study permit whatever it is start applying through this through this website i forgot this oh the best way you can get jobs is through networking when i say networking is talk to somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that will link you to somebody that has a job that's it we think it's already back in africa that this works it works here too if you have if you have um a friend talk to that friend that friend can talk to another friend you know just like that that's one of the best ways to get jobs here so if you have to be out there you have to be also um, willing to talk to people and let them know oh you're looking for a job because sometimes they might even post some of these jobs they might not post it but somebody will know you know somebody that you know might tell the other person that ah, we're looking for somebody we hope that we're hoping just casually you and that's how they, they'll just recommend you you know so yeah sorry i'm talking my hands too much you guys you guys already know me uh -huh. so so yeah networking is good next week you can also get a job is through volunteering when you volunteer um they might they, the company might decide to keep you and start paying you from there so it's always good to volunteer especially as students when you're on campus volunteer when they see you doing one or two things they can just tell you okay come come and do this job we'll pay you we'll pay you this and that so they're already familiar with you you're familiar with the job as well so it's a win-win for both parties yeah because it's part of the canadian culture yeah to volunteer to you know do all of these kind of things next thing is go for career fairs go for job fairs in my university we used to have career day and on those days we have companies that come to school employers who come around put up their stands and then um, when we go to the stands that we go with our resumes we drop them for them we drop it to them and then they look at they will look at it and they'll get back to us they might you know sell yourself you will sell yourself to them although to be honest one in 20 people usually get these kind of jobs that does not mean to say that it's not possible though it's possible you, you know you get what i'm saying right it's possible but the chances are it's not like you can everybody will go there and get jobs no 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 very few maybe 10 of you guys can go to a particular stand and then you might hire like three or two last is um register with companies employment agencies go to employment agencies they will match your 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 job description will match what you're looking your talents with the job description so it just fits perfectly okay. yeah that's basically it and uh, when you go for another thing go for coffee a lot of with a lot of these people when they tell you oh come for coffee go for coffee with them that's how they'll just tell you oh this is this, this job somewhere somewhere boom and you get it <laughs> yeah so that's it that's it you guys i'm going to leave it at this i'm so happy that i'm happy like this video i hope you guys learned a thing or two or if you if you also like please share this video with people who you know that need it or have any questions about jobs jobs and work permit questions all these kind of things so share the video and please do endeavor to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys 
in my next one thank you so much for watching this video until then bye